Hello everyone. So we are here to learn the Chinese language. Chinese, easy Chinese. In this channel, we are going to learn the easy ways to learn the Chinese. And you can learn it in a very easy, easy way. How it is easy actually. As I think uh, you have seen our last channel, you have watched our two of the videos, last two videos as we like lesson one and lesson two and in lesson three we are going to revise all of that two lessons what we learned in lesson one and lesson two although it's very important to learn first once again you have to watch the uh, lesson number one and lesson number two as well but I'm gonna explain to you like how the easy way to learn Chinese okay so here are the new words like which we learned in lesson one and lesson two jiao, jiao mean to call then chi, chi mean to eat chi. He, mai, mai, kan, kan, shui xi, shui xi. So the jiao mean to call, right? Jiao mean to call. If I used to say, like, if I want to say, like, what is the subject? The people are working in this sentence, like, they are called subject. Like, me mean you, ta mean he shi, peng yu friend, lao shi, teacher, lao ban, boss, papa, father. Ali is a noun, it's just a name. Next, wo, wo mean I and me. Now I'm gonna explain you like what are the verbs are here, like chiao, to call, chi, to eat, he, to drink, mai, to buy, kan, to watch or to see, and shi, shi mean to study. Like, now we are coming towards here. If I'm gonna ask about shema, shema mean what? Like, ni chiao shema, mean you call what? You call what? Ni chiao shema. If I want to say ni chi shema, you eat what? Ni he shema, you drink what? Ni mai shema, you buy what? Ni kan shema, you watch what? You see what? Ni shui shi shema, you study what? So now here you can see like how we should reply of it. Just replace the shema and we have to reply of these like Ni jiao shema, you call what? I will I used to say wo mean I. Wo jiao ali. I call ali. Next. Ta okay, next ni chi shema, you eat what? I will say wo chi ping guo, I eat apple. Now I'm gonna go with the next one, ta. He she eat. We use for the he she eat, we just use ta. Ta jiao shema. What he call? I will say ta jiao ali. He call ali. So we say ta chi shema. He eat what? Ta chi ping guo mean he eat apple. Ta mai shema. What he buy what? Ta mai ping guo. He buy apple. Ta ken shema. He watch what? Ta ken dian shi. He watch TV. Ta Shui Shi Shema. He study what? Ta Shui Shi Han Yu. He study Chinese. So now you can see like all of them, the subject we can change like Pang Yu, Zhao Shema, Pang Yu, Chi Shema, Pang Yu, He Shema, Pang Yu, Mai Shema, Pang Yu, Kan Shema, Pang Yu, Shui Shi Shema. And then Lao Shi, start with the Lao Shi. Lao Shi means teacher. As earlier in the last lesson, we already described you these words meaning. So I prefer, uh, first of all, you just observe this thing that just change the verb and just put it at the end, at the place of the object. It means that Shema what? And when you want to answer it, just replace the Shema on the place of Shema, you just put it the object. Like, so we have we have to review here once again, like what we have learned today lesson. Like Ni Chao Shema, you call what? Ta Chao Shema, what he called? Peng Yu Chao Shema. What friend call? Lao Shi Chao Shema. What is the friend te teacher name? Lao Ban Chao Shema. What is the name of the boss? Then you can say in the reply, you just reply like with Ta Chao Ali. He called Ali. Peng Yu Chao Ali. Peng Yu called Ali, right? So in the same way, like you will say Ta He Shema. He drink what? Ta He Cha. He drink tea. So the same one by one, you will go through with that and you will just reply accordingly. So in the first lesson, just we came to know how to how to speak about what you call what is your name actually it's mean what is your name what is your name what you want to eat uh, what you eat what you drink what you study what you want watch what you watch like this way we can ask these are the other questions we can ask in this lesson so 
we are clear with the lesson number three actually uh, in, so I must prefer that everybody should if you are the new learner you better to try to go with the lesson number one and lesson number two as well because some of the new words are from the lesson one and lesson two so here we are clear with our shama question particle so in Chinese language I prefer that everybody should first of all learn the question particles because the vocabulary it doesn't matter you can get a lot of vocabulary from through the internet and from other sources but the important is the grammatically how to make a question because still well, I, I, I prefer that till, uh, on that till on that time that till you don't know how to make a question to someone like what is your name uh, like what you drink what you eat so you don't know you even I think there's no use of vocabulary so many students nowadays they are just learning Chinese language just the new vocabulary words they are getting but they don't know how to pronounce how to speak it so I prefer everybody should try to go for the spoken with the spoken style you need to learn the first the basic grammars when you clear with the basic grammars it will be easier for you so uh, I hope if you have any question regarding this lesson and you uh, didn't understand some of the anything you can please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button. You can make comments us if you don't understand anything. Definitely we're going to help you out with the learning because we have this channel for easy Chinese with an easy way. So uh, if uh, you are new here, please subscribe our channel. So stay tuned with us. Uh, see you in the next lesson. Thank you. Bye bye.